Hi everyone, Shane from Warrior Plus here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple sales pages for your offers. You can see I'm on the home page here at warriorplus.com and I'm logged in. The first step is to click on vendors at the top of the page, and then click on my offers. Once you're at your offers page, you'll click on the offer that you want to set up multiple sales pages for. There are two main reasons why you would want to set up multiple sales pages to begin with. The first reason is if you have multiple affiliates that are going to be promoting your offers and each of those affiliates uh, or some of those affiliates are going to want to have their own bonuses and their own sales pitches that they want to offer to their list or their followers. And the second reason you'd have multiple sales pages is if you want to split test different versions of your sales page to find out which one converts the most and then you can ultimately send all or most of your traffic to that sales page that converts the best for you. So here on your offer page, you're going to see these black and white icons in the top right. The icon that's in the shape of a bullhorn is for managing multiple sales pages. If you click on the bullhorn icon, you'll come to the manage sales pages section. Right here you can see my default sales page for this offer, this test offer. And there's a button here in the top right for adding a new sales page. It's a green button. If you click on that, you'll see there's a box for your sales page description and your sales page URL. The sales page description, you're just going to write a short description that you'll be able to remember what that sales page is, whether it's a certain color, a certain sales copy, if it's just version 1 and version 2. As long as you can remember um, what each label means, then you can name this whatever you want. Your sales page URL is the actual URL of your sales page. So if you have a different sales page, it's going to be different from your default one. Um, and whatever the URL is, just make sure you have the correct one. And then whether you allow affiliates on that offer is also going to be ultimately up to you. I'm going to save this. Now you can see here it showed up underneath my default sales page. You can add as many sales pages as you want. Um, one thing that I'll show you here is that if you add more than one sales pages, sales page version 2 here, allow affiliates. Once you set up more than one multiple sales page, this manage split tests feature will show up. And that's how you can eventually manage split testing those different sales pages. And I'm going to cover that in a separate video. So if you have different affiliates that are going to promote your sales pages uh, and you want to assign a specific affiliate to their page, there's this number here next to the get code button. If you click on that button, the number, you'll see here that you can assign specific affiliates to specific sales pages. So if sales page 2 was for affiliate John Doe, I would be able to select a specific affiliate, search for John Doe, and then assign him to that specific sales page. And then whenever he sent traffic to that sales page with his affiliate link, it would make sure that they went to his particular sales page. We're going to go back to the other page now. So now we're back at the section where you manage your sales pages. You can see all my sales pages, the option to manage split tests. And we covered this button here, this number to add affiliates to specific sales pages. Let's talk about the get code button. The get code button is important because when you click on that, it's going to give you the code that you need to put the payment button within your sales page or within the offer page on the forum. You have the HTML version of the code here as well as the forum version. Um, make sure to put the correct code with the correct sales page so that you know each affiliate gets the appropriate credit for each sale and it can be trackable the right way. There's also a tracking link option up here at the top and that's if you you can add a sub ID or a tracking word that will help you remember where specific traffic came from, whether it was a certain affiliate or a certain page or a certain location. So that's the get code and then you have this pencil here on the left that allows you to edit any of your sales pages 
you can edit the address, the name, and you can also delete the sales page here at the bottom right by clicking on this trash can. And that's how you manage multiple sales pages. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped. Thanks.